This is Sparta! So GDC is over and man did it come with a lot of exciting news. We were really fortunate to be part of the conference, special thanks to Unity for inviting us. We really had a great time. Now during GDC we got to see previews of a bunch of upcoming Unity features and a lot of them actually really surprised me. So in this video we'll have a look at what's coming to Unity in 2018. So things kicked off with the Unity keynote. After the opening speech from John Riccitello it went right into machine learning. Here we got to see a cool demo of how you can use machine learning to teach the AI in a racing game how to steer. By simply getting a human to play the game, which we can see on the left, the AI will slowly pick up on how to navigate through the level as seen on the right. Normally you would have to program all this behavior by hand, which is not only time consuming but often leads to very unnatural and robotic feeling AI. Next up we got a quick overview of the release schedule for 2018. Unity is planning three major releases which you can see here. 2018.1 is mostly focused on artists and rendering capability as we've already seen with the announcement of Shader Graph and SRP. According to Unity they want to keep working on these two themes for the remaining year. In 2018.2 we can expect to see a bunch of new features like a vector graphics importer, 2D character animation, as well as new asset bundle tools. And it was already at this point in the presentation that I fell off my chair. Never ever had I thought this would happen. It felt like my entire life had been leading up to this moment. Let me give you a hint. That's right, it's finally here. Ready? Three. Two, one. All right, that's that's not it. But we have nested prefabs now. <laughs> to those of you who aren't in on the joke, Unity has been promising nested prefabs for a really long time. Without getting into too much detail, nested prefabs really expand on the usefulness of prefabs by allowing us to parent prefabs to each other. We'll definitely make a video on this once we know more. From here, they went on to talk about the new rendering features. Most of this had already been announced, but still they showed some really impressive stuff from the Book of the Dead demo using the HD render pipeline. Mostly what caught my eye was support for really high-end rendering features like subsurface scattering, real-time area lights and volumetric sky occlusion. And the most insane thing was that everything was running on a PlayStation 4 Pro. Pretty crazy. The presentation then moved on to a tiny demo of Shader Graph and finally Joachim jumped on stage to talk a bit about performance and the future of programming in Unity. Most importantly, he announced that the Entity Component system is now available in preview, which is definitely exciting. And at this point I thought, well, that was it. The keynote got wrapped up, everybody went home, but just the morning after there was a talk on the Unity 2018 roadmap and holy wow did they announce a lot of new features. First of all Andrew showed off some demo footage of the 2D character animation and support for vector graphics. He also talked about Sprite Shape which is a new tool for creating spline based layouts and levels in 2D. He then went on to Text Mesh Pro which will be more tightly integrated with the editor, Timeline is getting some tools for faster editing, Cinemachine is getting a storyboard feature to quickly test out ideas by overlaying references and sketches and just as I thought he was running out of stuff, BAM! New node based video effects editor. Now we don't know a lot about this yet but I'm just really excited about this one. And finally the terrain system is also getting an update. Again we don't know much yet but apparently it's getting a UI overhaul with better brush painting as well as a performance boost, something that is definitely needed at this point. Also to those of you who don't know, Unity is working on a new launcher called Unity Hub. It's currently available in preview and will definitely be a nice addition, especially to those who are working with multiple versions of Unity. And that's pretty much all we had to cover for this video. I would love to hear what feature you guys are most excited about for 2018. Other than that, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks to all the awesome Patreon supporters who donated in March, and a special thanks to Patrick McKinley, Diego Geig, Infinity PPR, Yorai Omer, Cyborg Mummy, Dark Heemskirk, Nawal, Faisal Marify, Beard Die, Double Tap 45, G Snyder, James P, G Delay, Superman the Great, John Beauregard, Cole Cabral, Dennis Sullivan, Jason, Plan Z, Alex Rokitsky, Bruins Cat, Bjorn Fudelknab, Svetlin Svidinov, Matthew Knight, Jin, Sasha Hopstein, Gregory Pierce, James Rogers, Robert Bund, Judaman, Rob Fairn, Adrian Haslinger, and Erasmus. You guys rock.